Welcome to Varnberg Implement. Today we're here with the money maker, the 7724 with the Dyna VT tractor. Why do we call it the money maker? Because it's not an expense on your farm. It's a tool to help you make more, do more, and get more done. This one features the CVT transmission, the world's most efficient transmission, and today we're going to jump in here and talk about a feature the control console display. This one has the Agco power engine in it, super fuel efficient, easy to run, easy to operate, and easy for you to get more and make more money on your farm. Let's jump in here and we'll show you how. What we're going to focus this morning on is the control console display. And uh, this is more than just a monitor. It's an, actually an ISO bus monitor, but there's also some special features. It's called Datatronics. It's something Massey Ferguson's had forever. It is a performance monitor built into your, into your tractor that allows you to learn more and do more with your equipment. We're going to start by selecting our tractor up here. Use our rotary knob, and then you just push in, and that selects different screens. You can have preset functions like you can set your engine speed A and B. You can watch wheel slip, your PTO RPMs, your SV1, SV2, those are your basically your your cruise controls for which range you're in and your mass if your Dyna VT transmission. You'll see miles and RPM, common things that you're already gonna know and understand and you could see from your dash display. But what really gets cool is what you can do in the in the middle. For example, you can control your hydraulics here. Uh, these are all the different functions. You can have transmission controls. You just rotate and slow and select. You got the maximum RPM for foot pedal mode. You got speed maximum. You've got engine engine performance, engine with the PTO. You can see that type of data. But you can select one on top and one on bottom. Uh, we'll come over here to dynamic whoop, dynamic tractor management. Dynamic tractor management allows you to push this single button here and be the most efficient, awesome operator you can be on the farm. Because the tractor is going to do the work for you instead of you. It's going to select the right amount of RPMs to travel the speed that you selected over here and you don't do nothing and it sips the fuel. If you're not using dynamic tractor management on your Dyna VT, you're, you're helping the oil companies get richer. The next thing is headlands. You can set up headland sequence. You can do it through a memorization function where you do actually operate the controls and it'll set it up or you can manually enter them the exact direction you want to do it. The way I learned, do a manual one first and it'll make you understand how to do an automatic a lot simpler and easier. It's editable too. You can actually import this in from uh, Diatronic uh, software that's available for the computer so you don't have to do it in the tractor. You can set it up, use the memory port here, import it, and make, and if you've got an operator, He's got the way to set it up right from the start. The next thing, we had hydraulics, we discussed that. This has two fingertip valves and two mechanical valves in this tractor. So the two electric valves you can actually control here. You can set percentages, you can set time delays. That's pretty, pretty standard between a lot of manufacturers, but I wanted to show you that it's in here. But when it gets really interesting is these next three here. That's what we're here to talk about. Instant fuel economy or instant data numbers. There's your acreage coverage. So it, to me, if I was owning this tractor and operating it and then going to be a professional farmer, not just a planter or, or a driver, I would make sure that I enter my size of my implement. It doesn't take that long and we'll show okay, you. Okay, the easiest way to set up an implement is what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to the home screen 
then we're gonna come to our task that's our task menu and if you look here this is your job information if you come right over here and you can put your implement width in right down here you can set up your task and you can set different implement widths plows that type of stuff but you can set up your width so that's the quickest easiest way it'll do your calculations and then you can memorize your information you can escape come back to home come back to your tractor and escape will come back to your instant information 0.7 gallons an hour and that's uh just sitting this here is doing gonna give nothing. give you the ability to watch and control your your costs and make you money. Isn't farming about making money, not spending money? You can watch your acres per hour, your gallons per hour, your gallons per acre. That is where fuel economy is really where you find out. It's not how much the engine burns, but it's how much the the tractor can can do work. And cover more acres in less time it saves you time saves you money wouldn't you rather be doing something else than uh, sitting in a tractor seat get your job done go enjoy your family or your friends this is your miles per hour your miles coverage and this is your gallons we're going to start it up and just show you what the instant numbers look like I'm gonna hit the throttle you can see the gallons per hour bumped up there but that's it that's just changing speed rapidly you can see the RPMs change up here this is resettable you've actually got three control buttons here you can activate the you can set up the activation of actually work area by manually pushing the button or you can do it by setting automatic like a three drop the three point hitch uh, there's time there's there's different triggers that you can start your workload if you're doing a partial that's what this is is that's 25 percent work area 50 percent 75 or 100 percent work area is what that this button corresponds to here this is your manual activation mode and this is your setup for your for your triggers and stuff escape comes right back uh, the next thing we, we can do is we call it the averages the averages is going to average your time thing one of the coolest ones to me is efficiency as a business owner myself I want to know how much if I'm being efficient and if I'm making money that I can uh, my business can continue it's all about costs you can input your fuel cost here and your labor cost and this tractor is going to tell you instantly gallons your cost per gallons per acre your time per acre that's your labor cost this is your fuel cost and this is your efficiency cost per acre that you're doing for example if you're driving your tractor too fast you are driving your tractor faster you're going to reduce your time per acre but you may increase your fuel cost per acre if you drive if you burn too much fuel and on less hours it may be more efficient for your operation to get that job done or to get that task done so watching this column over here what it costs to put that crop in or do that task or job is going to help you make you a better operator on how you operate your tractor there's ways that we can help you save money on on operating and that's where the Dyna VT with the different controls it's got will help you become a more efficient operator being efficient means you uh, put more money in the bank and lessen the equipment dealers the fuel companies and all that stuff because uh, you're making the money and that's what it's all about 
Also in the efficiency screen you can see your workload, your engine load by percentage. You can see your draft percentage if you're pulling a tillage implement, wheel slip, where your three-point hitch is linkage position, the fuel consumed per hour and the fuel consumed per acre. So that's some that's some that's right here the corresponding key to these three buttons and you can set target values also down here you can switch between using that button you can switch between the efficiencies so that's the pretty much the efficiency screen so the next thing we're going to jump over to this is your map screen if you're using GPS we don't have auto guide complete on this it's auto guide ready on this tractor all we got to do it here's your auto guide your steering stuff it's gonna pop up right here the next thing is you can watch your engine your RPMs your A and B B engine speeds your max RPM the aggressiveness you can make this tractor you can make it push that RPMs faster you can make it slowly do it however you want to operate it it's a massive Ferguson man we make it easy for you to operate and do more and get more from your equipment you got hitch controls you can set the percentages the, the speed and all that stuff not as much uh, you can do dual control you can do if you you can set up uh, for front three point, rear three point, hydraulic stuff. Man, this thing will do a lot of things. And then the last one is your point rows information. You can set that up. So that's pretty much what the control center display is. Um, make sure you try these uh, these instant and average. Uh, watch how your tractor's being being worked you just cycle between the top and the bottom here to put the data that you want displayed and use your rotary knob and select it and make money that's the whole thing we're here to teach you how to make more money and be, become a more efficient operator with your Massey Ferguson tractor thank you for tuning in to this control center display video Visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer and check out the differences. What's past the logo and what's past the paint? It's what matters under that hood and under my feet down here. The transmission technology and the engine technology from Massey Ferguson is second to none.